So Holly is doing everything she can to try and kill Ghost. This girl is trouble. James St. Patrick. Hey guys, it is Murad Muradi. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Now this was one of the fourth episode of Power. Wasn't able to review the last one, unfortunately. I will not be able to review the rest of the episodes as I will be away. But let's just start with the ending, a bit different. But I want to get into this girl called Holly. Now Holly is trouble. I said this from the beginning and I can see it now. She's trying to go and kill ghosts. And she, and she knows that Tommy won't do it because of their friendship, their bond, their bridge that they've built, so forth. So she knows that that is weakness for him. Therefore, she's going around and finding someone else to do it. This girl is evil. Let me tell you why she's evil. Because she is aware of the fact that Ghost has kids, she has interacted with the kids, she's now good friends with Tasha, allegedly, and we see her playing with the kids, knowing that she, even though she's playing with them, she's gonna, she's gonna kill the damn father. If you're doing that, then I have no remorse for you as a character, as a person. To be fair, I did quite like Holly from the beginning, I'm not gonna lie to you, I enjoyed her as a person, as a character, she was quite frivolous, different from the rest, an outcast, interesting to see the way she interacted with everyone, had a, a relationship but different each character, which is interesting to see. However, now she's trying to go down and play in dangerous water and this will leave her in bad repercussions. It will put her in negative consequences and she needs to watch what she's doing because I have a feeling that she will die at the end of this season. I don't feel like she will stay for the recurring season as the main character. She will die off soon. Plenty of times she has left and we thought she left for good, but she comes crawling back and here she has, here we have her playing in hot water trying to kill one of the main characters. This will not happen and it will lead to her getting in trouble. She's a dangerous character. I do not like her anymore. These storylines are connected together. First and foremost is the tension is rising between Angela and Tasha. <laughs> but you know you didn't do it for Tariq. Sure as hell didn't do it for me. You did this for Ghost. Tension is rising between these two because Angela knows that Tasha's right, that Angela has fallen for this person. She is now gonna handle all the nonsense stress that comes with ghosts and comes with the kids, such as the gun problem and having them by accident. Tasha's sitting there eating her popcorn, preening all the tea and saying, yes, you better, you better enjoy all this nonsense because now it's your turn. You've asked for it, you've got it, go with it. And Angela does not have an answer back to her because she knows that she is right, but she's regretting to admit it. And they had a little argument, Ghost and Angela, because the interweaving storylines is the tension between Angela and Tasha reciprocates the bad relationship between Ghost and Angela, because it's directly affecting that, because Angela knows that Tasha is the voice of reason and that she knows that Tasha is right. I don't need to ask for your permission, Jamie. Oh, yes, you do. Especially when it comes to my wife. You know what I mean? No, I don't think I do. And she's going through some nonsense with ghosts and Tasha and Angela begins to have several different doubts of whether they were in the wrong. Things are going down south for her in her mind because we can clearly see that Tasha is easily manipulating Angela, which is quite weird considering that Angela is a lawyer. However, she's easily manipulated. She's got a lot of stress on her head as well. Angela with a lot of different things. She constantly always does, however, she always pulls through. So we're gonna see if Ghost and her pull through or something goes on between these two now, whether their relationship is gonna go down the spiral and these two might split up, or Ghost go back to Tasha, or Tasha even take Ghost back. There's a lot of different possible outcomes between this whole debacle that's been going on several times. But it's interesting to see that Tasha is becoming the voice of reason for these two. She's kind of become the, the narrator because she's been through this whole nonsense herself. That so she understands what's going on. She's telling Angela. She's kind of helping and kind of hating on her, kind of throwing shade at the same time. It's a mix of different things. Angela can't retort back to her because she knows that she is right. So we're going to see how, the relationship between Tasha and Angela and how that gets worse. And the relationship between Tasha and Ghost and if that can improve or if not. Because we know Ghost is busy 24-7 and he's getting pissed at Angela for saying different things. It's another storyline that is directly affecting Angela as I expressed that she has many things on her head. We have Greg Knox. Agent Greg Knox has caught us a very big fish. And it is with great pleasure that I welcome him back on the team. Now this guy is back. I said it before many times that this guy is dangerous. We've seen him with his whole map of storylines that he's pinpointed together. He'll be one of the few people. He's trying to crack the case with Lobos and so forth with this person. So he might be a huge game player when it comes to solving the case which may bring him back into the good spotlight and make Angela more nervous. She might fall on some form or platform because she's riding on so many storylines right now. So one of the storylines is she will just have a breakdown and go crazy because Greg's back. Greg's, Greg is on her case like a hawk. This is something that she does not need. 
This is why she's going to stress her, she's going to have a breakdown. This is something that she does not need. She does not need Greg on her back prying his eyes over her when she's got the whole thing with Ghost going on, with T Tasha going on, and her job going on. She doesn't need him. He will find something, and something will have ha bad happen between these two. So I'm happy that Greg is, ha is having more airtime. That's what I'm happy about. We saw him with the pinpointing stuff, but apart from that, we didn't really see him. So I'm thinking, yes, this guy's back. He's got his job back. Not only has he got his job back, but he's in the same case as Angela. Angela, I mean... So we're going to see the dynamic between these two in close comfort because they will be in the same building, the same room, solving the same case 24-7. And, and everyone else, like Angela's employees, are also notice, noticing the relationship between these two because Greg and Angela, they did have sex here and there. They were very good from the start off, very bitter, and now it's back and it's still going to be very bitter. So we're going to see how Angela deals with all, this, all these different problems and how, whether she improves or not. In my opinion, I don't think so. A smaller review of this episode. Not much happened in comparison to the last episode, but we have the main storylines of Holly causing trouble 24-7. We have the whole idea of the relationship between Tasha and Angela getting worse, which is directly affecting Angela and Ghost's actual relationship. And we have Greg Knox who's back on the scene, and then we have Tommy who is literally about to get killed. Tommy is about to get killed and it goes off. And we see him there, and these Korean people try to shoot him up because they got the um, ghost's assistant or whatever his name is. I keep forgetting that guy's name. He gets a lead of someone, and ghost goes and helps him because that relationship is still there between these two. They tried to emphasize in the beginning that Ghost and Tommy are big enemies now, but they really have that love for each other. They constantly try to save each other. Tommy can't kill Ghost. Ghost tries to save Tommy. They are brothers. The brand, the bra the Branson, the the bromance. There we go. The bromance is very strong between these two. But it's what it is, guys. This is Marad Morali. Hope you enjoyed my smaller review. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, website. Peep me out on all of that. Hope you enjoyed my review. Sound off, and I'll catch you guys soon.